Welcome to the Nightcap, it's your girl Carolina Sanchez and we're at South by Southwest, baby! Back again for another week of madness, concerts, shows, activations, and pop-ups. And we're kicking things off with Fallout, a new show on Prime. And if you don't know anything about Fallout, well, check out this trailer. You need to go home. Vault dwellers are an endangered species. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. Uh-huh. All right, it's crazy. There's a lot of things going on, but apparently I'm going into the wastelands from Vault 33. I don't know if I have what it takes. Let's find out. Come on in, you slow poke vault dwellers. Come on. She doesn't look like a vault dweller, does she? All right, as I said, welcome to Philly. My name is Hilly Holiday, and I am here to introduce you to our fair town. We got everything and anything you can want. We got a very robust economy. Even the Brotherhood of Steel comes to visit us now and then. We got plenty of security to keep away all the mutants. Well, at least most of them. We got one over there, I call him Ghoulie. He's my friend. <laughs> we protect ourselves from murderers and mayhem causers. Y'all, any mayhem causers in the group? No, Let me know now, raise your hand. No, oh. ma'am. All right, I'm gonna keep my eyes on you. Well, I'll let you know a few things. Are y'all in the mood to make some quick cash? Sure. Always. All right, over in the back, we got a man selling some jerky. It's really, really good, just don't ask him what's in it. If you're thirsty, we got the pharmacy over here. We got plenty of Nuka-Cola and maybe something stronger if you're in need for that. I don't know what could be stronger than Nuka-Cola, but oh, whatever. We got brand new jump jets over there. If you can shoot, they'll pay you cash. Y'all look like you got good pearly whites. If you can't keep up with your body cap, we got a dentist over there. He'll pay you for those pearly whites. Okay. Pull them out right on site. And you can get a haircut. All right. As I said about our economy, I got all the good stuff. Come and see me. This is my arm dealer stand. I made these junk jets myself. Fit them out with the hydraulic press and everything, all right? These are great out in the wasteland, all right? Because you take whatever you find on the floor, wood, teddy bears, tin cans, and you shove them right in and blow shit up. All right, I'll explain it. It's not even a vault dweller like you can do it, all right? <laughs> Thumb on the black button, hold it down. Okay. Finger on the trigger. When the light comes on, let her rip. All right. <laughs> Take that for your troubles. Don't spend them all in one place now. All right, thank you. So, I got one. I got one, but I think I need a lot more to get a drink. And as you know, on the nightcap, we need a drink whether it's day or night. We have fancy lad cupcakes and a piece of ass on the way out. You say a piece of ass? A piece of ass. Does he look good? It's wonderful. Oh. Everybody needs a little ass in their life. Help yourself. Make sure you get you some ass. All right. Ass That's quite a piece of ass meat. I I have I have these caps. I'd be willing to trade them for you. Let's let's trade. How many do you want? Uh, I'll give you five. All right, and I'll 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 give you five. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. These are these are shiny and new. Mine are a little bit more beat up, but that makes them more vintage. They, they, this is this is the good stuff. Uh, I don't take the black ones. Why not? I don't know. Because they're fake money. I can't live with that. Are people tricking you? You know, I got fake money! You don't trust anybody in this town. Do I trust you? No. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I am the best gambler. Do you have a good eye? Yeah. All right. I think. Oh, yeah, I give away my bottle of Bible. Just keep your eye on the eye. Okay. All right? Careful, that could be your eye later. If you stay open. Oh, no. I'm screwed. Oh, I didn't even see her put it down! Woo! You guys just see it again! Ah! Careful! Team! They already stole from me that one. 
on. I have no money. It's beyond me why you would want to voluntarily go into that chair. They uh, stole all my money, and now I have worthless money. And they've even stolen this and politely given it back. But I need, I need money. You need red bottle caps. I need red bottle caps. And they're gonna give you some to let them pour too. That's what I was told. All right. If they fail to do that, you talk to me. I'm the mayor. I'm a very, I'm pro fairness. Okay. Okay. I run on a fairness platform. What's your name, Mayor? Gary. Gary the mayor. Are you scanning me? What's going on? <laughs> How am I doing? Am I red, red free? Yeah, you're. Ready? You're ready. Oh, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know what I'm doing. I promise you, you won't feel very much. Ah. Uh, One. Two. Three. Ah! 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 All right. How do you stay cool in this radiated wasteland? Apparently, there's a Nuka Cola. You got a Nuka Cola? Oh, awesome. Do I owe you a bottle cap? No, get the hell out of here. Wow, they want me to go back into the vault. Wow, he's scary. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm cut out for the wastelands. It's time to go back to South by Southwest as I know it. I don't think it's here, guys. <laughs> uh. One of my favorite things about South by Southwest is getting to chill, relax, and learn about different brands, especially alcoholic brands, baby. And I am here with Joanne Street. She is the National American Whiskey Ambassador for Campari America. And you're here representing... Long Branch. All right, let's sit down and learn a thing or two. So what makes Long Branch... Oh, hold up, you already have it oh, poured I'm... out for me? It's, it's gonna be a long weekend, Oh right? yeah, it is. Okay, so how should I so enjoy this? So when we this? approach whiskey, we typically take a look at the color, right? Because we can't add anything but water to the final product. Okay. So a lot of this color and flavor is gonna come from the maturation inside of the barrel. So the char level of the barrel and the toast level of the barrel. Wow. So this is one of the only native spirits to the United States, and we have to follow specific rules and regulations to be considered a bourbon. A bourbon. And only adding water is one of those rules and regulations. Oh. So what we did is we distilled this in our distillery in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, and then we put it into a warehouse and we let it age for about six years inside of that warehouse, letting the temperature outside really work that barrel and pull out of the, all of those delicious flavors, right? Yeah. When we caramelize the sugar of the wood, we get all of those like um, caramel, sweet flavors, vanillas, oaks that we associate with whiskey. Yes. And so we aged it for about six years. But the difference with Long Branch is we actually charcoal refine this through American oak and Texas mesquite. So our vision for this was kind of wonder what if bourbon took a road trip from Kentucky to Texas, what would that create? And we all know a little bourbon goes perfectly with barbecue, right? Absolutely. So when we approach the tasting, we definitely like to give it a nose, maybe smell it once with your mouth open once with your mouth closed. Mm. Oh, all of that aroma, right? That's yeah. coming from that barrel and that maturation. And then of course, coming from the charcoal refinement of that Texas mesquite and American oak. So we're adding a little bit more flavor to this whiskey as well. And then we bottled it at 86 proof. So take that first sip. Kind of swish it around in your mouth a little bit. Make sure you hit all of those taste buds. Mm -hmm. That second sip is really gonna start to open up and you're gonna be able to kind of determine a lot more of those flavor characteristics. Oh, that's where the caramel is definitely uh -huh. hitting my tongue. Oh, oh that's the Texas fantastic. hits you on that second sip. That's the Texas. Exactly. Oh, baby, we do it better <laughs> in Texas. But uh, I hear you got a camper you got set up for me. Absolutely, let's go make some cocktails inside. She's putting me to work, but I love it. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to the Long Branch Mobile Ranch. All right, I see you got some tools laid out. What's happening here? What yes. are we doing? Sorry. So we're in Texas Sorry. and smoking things is very common here. Yeah. So we actually created an iteration of an old fashioned called a smoked cherry cola old fashioned. So that's what we're gonna make this afternoon. Play a little bit of fire, have a little bit of fun behind the bar. Let's do it. The first thing we're gonna start with is our cherry bitters. Typically when you're making cocktails, you wanna start with the smallest ingredient and the least expensive just in case you make a mistake. We're then gonna add in a quarter ounce of cherry cola syrup, so you could buy this at your local grocery store. Oh. We'll add in a quarter ounce of that right into the cocktail mixing glass. 
And, and you're then, making for two cocktails, I'm right? making for two cocktails. Perfect. And then of course, last but not least, Long Branch Bourbon, we have to have as our base spirit here. So we'll go right into the cocktail, in the mixing glass. And then this is really where the fun part kind of comes in. So we're actually going to smoke the cocktail now. So we're gonna add in a little bit of ice. Okay. We'll take this, and then I'm gonna let you have all the fun. I get to drink it? Well, of course you get to drink it. But before we do that, we'll give this a, a stir first, sorry. Give that just a quick stir. Typically around 20 rotations, 20 seconds is what you're gonna be looking for. Anytime I stir it, it turns into bumper cars. <laughs> At least it's getting stirred though, right? Okay. That's all the yeah, matters. Sure. Okay. So we'll add this on top, and then I'm gonna let you take that torch just straight to those charcoals right in the middle. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'll actually do it a little bit more. I don't know how to how to use a, a blow torch. Oh, what? There Not we go. You. You just need, you started it. I just need a little luck. We'll give this a little pour into the glass. Look at that beautiful color. Yes. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then we've actually charred a cinnamon stick, but we'll give it a little extra char here. She didn't trust me with it again. <laughs> she was like, and she we'll don't know what she's doing. Right on top. All right, let's Mary see. I present to you a Long Branch smoked cherry cola old fashioned. Cheers. Mmm. It really shows the versatility of the brand, going oh. from something light and refreshing and sweet to something a little bit more spirit forward. But not like overpoweringly so. Like that that mouth feels fantastic. Mm -hmm. And the cherry is not overpowering. No. It's like, that's really good. Delicious, right? Between us, I'm not into cherry cola, but man, Could I'm into <laughs> this. I'm into this. Then we've done something right today. All right. Well, listen, I've got, I've got cocktails to make at home and you've got a lot more South by to watch, so. Just stay right there. We'll be right back. This is good. Yeah, this is good, right? Welcome back to the Nightcap. As you know, we've been hitting up some premieres here at South by Southwest. Black Twitter of People's History, the three-part docu-series here. We started off as Wired's cover story, and I got to speak to some of the people involved in the film. But first, I want you to check out that trailer. Know your black way. Thanksgiving clap. Back. Black girls on magic. Meet me in Temecula. Hashtag Dim Thrones. People were like, where is black Twitter? Not ever come down. White folks talk about black Twitter like it's Wakanda. Wanna get down? <sighs> Let's go. Much, but either way, I'll take all of that. I'll take all of that. And you've already seen the love and the hate oh, yeah. on Black yeah, Twitter. Yeah, 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 I love it. But you reacted knowing that it was going to happen. Oh, of course, of course. It wouldn't be Black Twitter without knowing how they're going to react. Black Twitter is sort of a way where black, tweet, black people are sort of hanging out digitally um, on Twitter or other social media platforms, right? Obviously, it starts on Twitter, right? And it's sort of where we were finding community, whether it was over things that were fun, whether it was over things that were political. I mean, that's really what it was. I call it basically a giant group chat that's sort of public or a, a digital hangout on the stoop or hanging out in the quad or the back of the bus energy. Right. Like, all of that is to me how I would describe black Twitter. Absolutely. And for black Twitter, that's on the side of like, nah, this is trash, this is and I ain't watching, I ain't got the voices I know. What do you gotta say to them? I would just be like, you know, we gonna be out here May 9th and then we can have another conversation. But I love the, I love like to show up. I want, I want the comments, I want the petty. I want the like, you know what, I was tripping. I, you know, or just, I just want you to t like tune in, show up, show out, be us, be you, be Black Twitter. If you had to set Black Twitter ablaze right now, give me a hot take. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. I know better. No, 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 no. You're not about to have me out here. No, 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 no. All right, so let's take a look at the fit because oh, you know Black you. Twitter's going to react. Ew, ew. No, I love it. I love it. So how do you think Black Twitter's reacting to Black Twitter? It's been fun. Already I'm seeing a lot of reactions. They're never going to be quiet, and we love the conversation. I'm here for the doll. I love it. Because that's the Black combo. Twitter. Yeah, that's what we do. 
And how excited are you to be premiering here at South by Southwest? So excited. This is the perfect place. This is the only festival we wanted. Like, this was the, I mean, like, it's tech, it's media, it's film, it's music. It's all the things that Black Twitter is. So, of course. Like, what could be better? Congrats on the premiere. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, come on. Let's see the fit. Because, you know, Black Twitter are going to react. What do you think they're going to say? <laughs> they're going to clown me, but it's okay. <laughs> but that, that's the litmus test for Black Twitter. They roast you, they love you, they clown you. That's, that's what we love about it. Yeah, so take me back a few years when you decided to pitch this multi-part series article that ended up being the cover story. So I've been at Wired a few years, and I wanted to talk about Twitter. And I was like, yo, nobody's written about Black Twitter. I need to write about Black Twitter. And I was like, the best way to do this is through an oral history. Yeah, no, that was perfect. Yeah. So how is it now seeing it from cover story to Hulu docu-series? Honestly, if I'm being 100, surreal, like, I just wrote a story, and now I'm on a red carpet talking Come to you. Come on, so. baby, that's amazing! <laughs> that's awesome! That's very wild. Black Twitter has changed the course of language and communication online. The way we talk, the way we vibe, like, that's all Black Twitter. So where do you think Black Twitter will evolve to after this? Or do you think it's just going to hold steady on X? I mean, that's the question, but Black Twitter is going to be Black Twitter no matter what. The platform, Twitter was not originally made for us, and we came up, we showed up, and we showed out. And I think no matter who's in charge, that's what's going to happen. Whether Elon's in charge or not, Black Twitter is still going to be Black Twitter. All right, before you go, you got to give me a hot question. take. You got to give me a hot question. take. Hot take? I don't know. You don't have a hot take? You're like, I'm not trying to get canceled today. <laughs> not on my first film. I can't get canceled on my first film. Thank you so much. No, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. As you know, we've been showcasing some artists here at South by Southwest, and of course, I had to get a hold of Caleb DeCasper, one of the best gay songwriters, and proud of it, and showing it off on Hi. stage, baby! How does it feel to be showcased here at Hotel Vegas at South by Southwest? Well, I love Hotel Vegas. They're still one of the like OG cool venues around town. supports local music and you can make yourself here if you, you have it in you, you know. Uh, every year they let me do whatever I want. Usually something crazy happens. Last year I burst into flames. We'll see what happens this year. Okay, we need footage of that. <laughs> I burned my first leather and we took his body off of the bridge. His body down in for the audience today? Well, today what we've done is I've just taken, even though I've moved into a more pop, synth pop direction with my new material, we're taking it back to old school stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna do like just a heavy metal, like punk rock set of all the stuff that people know from me. I burned my first leather and we took his body off of the bridge. don't know Caleb DeCasper, give them the 101. Well, I'm Caleb DeCasper. I'm a classically trained pianist and a songwriter. I just really like to do some like rock and roll <laughs> Can I say yeah, yeah, I like to do some rock and roll when I'm on stage. I love writing music that's about my own personal perspective and I don't clean it for anybody and it's been working so far. People love it. And I love that. Yeah. Okay, so what gave you the confidence? Because I know in the queer community, the LGBTQ plus community, it's tough to get the confidence to actually showcase your experience and share it with the world. What gave you that confidence to take it on and do it? I think in the LGBTQ community, it is hard to find that confidence, but once you find it, it never leaves, baby. It never leaves. And so you take that and that's your superpower and you put it into whatever you want to do to change the world. Do you feel like you're changing the world? I feel like I'm changing the world, yeah. I told him I would marry him and we would always fall my way. I 
love my fans and I, I love connecting with people. You should make art to make art, but music's different because you got to connect with people when you make it. So where can we uh, tune in to your latest tunes and what's coming up next? So we'll be dropping a new single for my new, hopefully, record that'll be out around May, probably. Oh, that's soon! Yeah, yeah. That's weeks away. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm so ready. I'm excited to I'm hear so it! Ready. Okay, well, you're going to kill it tonight. And I, I can't wait to see what you surprise people with yeah. on stage. Yeah, we're calling it the rock and roll go to hell set. So rock and roll, go to hell. Go to hell, baby. <laughs> go to hell. Or <laughs> what you can